Hi everyone, Maureen here from Stretch Sense. In this video, I'll be showing you how to stream your hand data into Unreal Engine 4 using Vive Trackers and our MoCap Pro gloves. For this, you will need the following applications. Also, make sure to install the Hand Engine plugin for Unreal. First thing we need to do is launch Hand Engine and calibrate your hands. For more information, watch our comprehensive tutorial dedicated to hand calibrations, linked down below. Once you're done, make a note of the TCP port numbers of each hand. Then go ahead and turn streaming on. Next, attach one Vive Tracker on the back of each glove. We stuck Velcro on our Vives to make this easier. You can now set up your room and base stations within Steam VR. Prepare the Vive Tracker on your left glove first. Then navigate onto Devices and choose Manage Vive Trackers. From the drop down, select Held in Hand and Left Hand. Repeat the same steps for the tracker on your right glove, this time selecting Right Hand from the drop down. From this point forward, try not to change the position of your Vive Trackers on your gloves to get the best results. Launch Unreal Engine. Please note that in this tutorial, we're using Unreal Engine version 4.25. Create a new VR project and name it accordingly. Before integrating our hands, first we need to set up the scene so that it recognizes our Vive Trackers. Within this project, go ahead and create a new default level. In the Content Browser, right-click and go into Create, Blueprint Class and select Porn. We will name this VR Porn. Double-click on VR Porn to go into its Components tab. Add a Scene Component and rename this VR Camera Root. Add a camera component and rename this VR camera. Now add two motion controller components for the right and left trackers. Name these accordingly and make sure they are all parented under the default scene route. In the details panel, scroll down to the motion controllers section to check that each hand is set correctly. Next, go into the event graph and find Event Begin Play. Drag off a node and type in Set Tracking Origin. We will leave this at floor level. Hit Compile and Save. Go back into your level map and drag the VR Porn Blueprint from the Content Browser into the scene. Make sure to zero out its location and rotation attributes. Finally, select VR Pawn from the Outliner. Under the Pawn setting in the Details panel, set the Auto Possess Player from Disabled to Player 0. We are now ready to integrate our hands. Save your project. In the main menu, go to Edit, Plugins. Tick Enable for both LiveLink and MoCap Pro LiveLink plugins, then restart the project when prompted. By now, you should be able to navigate to Window and choose Live Link. Add a source, choose MoCap Pro Glove, and check that the IP address and TCP port numbers match those from Hand Engine earlier. Add another source for the right hand, incrementing the port number to 9001. Navigate back into the Content Browser. Create a folder within Blueprint and import your hand asset there. Right-click on the left-hand skeletal mesh, highlight it in pink, and create an animation blueprint. Open that up, right-click anywhere in space, and type in Live Link Pose. Input the correct subject name. Connect both nodes and hit Compile and Save. 
you should now be able to stream your hand data from Hand Engine directly into Unreal. Repeat the steps for the right hand. We're almost done. We just need to get these hands parented onto our Vive trackers. Open up the VR Pawn Components tab and add two skeletal mesh components for the right and left hand, parenting them to their corresponding motion controllers. Next, input the skeletal hands in the details panel, as well as the animation blueprints we set up earlier, in order to drive the hand skeleton. Name the components accordingly, and hit Compile and Save. If necessary, manually change the orientation of the skeletal mesh to better match the orientation of the Vive Tracker. Now you're all set! If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.